Not one, not two, but five million people uses Singapore's public transport every day. How crazy is that? As you all know, with a big number of passengers comes big cost. Remember North South Line? That costed us $2.7 billion to build back then. The cost per kilometer has gone up from $160 million to $490 million. Each kilometer therefore costing almost half a billion dollars. Eh. Singapore's MRT network will grow from 230 kilometers to 360 kilometers by 2030 with 8 MRT lines stretching across the island. More than 60 billion will be invested in the expansion and renewal of Singapore's rail network over the next decade. Alright, now let's talk about other things Singapore is going to do in the near future. Notice that cycling is quite trending nowadays. Actually, people trying to find excuses to go out for fresh air. <laughs> to provide a seamless riding experience for active mobility users around the city, our government is planning to invest $1 billion to triple the number of cycling paths to 1,300 km by 2030. Singapore is making a big push for cleaner transport with several schemes relating to electric vehicles or so-called EVs. The government will set aside $30 million over the next 5 years for EV-related initiatives. As the number of electric vehicles increase in the coming years, Singapore is aiming to deploy 60,000 EV charging points. Yeah, yeah, yeah! 60,000 of this bad boy! So to conclude, Singapore's total expenditure towards the Ministry of Transport is $8 billion. In case you don't know how big a billion is, 1 million second is 12 days. But a billion seconds, guess how much? 31 years leh! All in all, you may not know what Singapore has done or is going to do in the near future. But rest assured that Singapore will never stop improving.